Welcome back. That was... Hay que volver a los chinos de nuevo. That's the name of the song. It's a song from a Chilean progressive band called Abrete Gandul. Pretty good band. And it's called De Nuevo. De Nuevo means again in Spanish. Because they actually... That's a song from the first album. Like, the song I put, it's a version from the second album. But the song was initially for the first album. But they only have kind of a very sloppy live version of that song on the first album. Whereas the version for the second one, Cuentos para dormir, is way better. Like, way better. Alright. Let's go. No, actually, no. Local recording. Cannot forget that. Now we can go. And yeah, I think Averte Gandul is probably my favorite progressive rock Chilean band. Like, you can always make the argument for, you know, the classics like Los Jaivas or Congreso, but Averte Gandul is just really good. Let's see how it goes. Lightly a no reset. Unless I hit, you know, like a... A soft lock or something. And yeah, I haven't actually run the game in a while. I, I've done practice. I've been playing the way the, the game for for a while, looking at roads and strats. Uh, I was practicing Roberto Skip Road, which is not this one, by the way. But I haven't actually run the entire game in a while. So I need to get back in the practice for that. This looks pretty good so far. Although the clock on Alex was kind of slow. Should be able to close my window in a couple minutes. Once it gets a little bit more cold. I'm taking the long run, whatever. Thank you for the good luck. Let's just close it now. I still have one more window open. But that will be for later. Just so the the noise gate 
actually filters the dogs. So I need to put that on the document. I actually forgot that. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I. All right, time for some Elia. And some Merging of cutscenes one, two, three, four, and five. And then one frame of Elia going invisible if you pay enough attention. There's plenty of those frames. Here's some snake for stamina. Because you use stamina for running. And then to recover stamina, you need to walk or sneak. But you recover stamina, I think, twice as fast when you sneak. It's actually fast, faster most of the time to sneak for stamina. There's some exceptions like Roberto, because Roberto is weird. Save that guy, sadly. You can repair your small sword, you save the guy, but we don't really need that. Sneaking here until the zombie. And then gotta watch this cutscene. Which gives you back all your stats. Well, I, I don't know if it gives you back your health. Not really sure. But it gives you back your sanity. And stamina at least. Maybe even your magic, but we don't know because Elia doesn't have magic. Or well she actually has a hundred magic, but it's not shown.
There should be a sanity effect on this room. Not yet, though. Probably around here. It might happen or it might not happen. It, there it is. Toya. Did you now? Hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, thank you for watching, Ghost Chaser. I hope you have a good day too. Fast pickup. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavor. Every, every time you grab an item, not every item, but a lot of the items, the game does a camera pan towards the item. But the game doesn't do the camera pan and it instant snaps into the item oh if God. something is blocking. Devil's work. The path of the camera. Of you have proven what we have feared the most. In that case, Alex blocks the path. But it's it's relatively precise in that case. We have some similar fast pickups some pious that are way easier. Pretty much every item of the game has a fast pickup that is useful on the speedrun. There's just some exceptions on like Edward. Or this one, for instance. But at least that's a very short camera pan. The thing is, you cannot press B. You cannot pick up the item until the camera pan stops. And some camera pans are very long. Others are shorter. I'm not sure if I did that correctly. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can do an extra fist. I was forgetting that. No. Save the monk and got a sword for later. And now we're gonna get this rune and open the door at the same time. So we don't have to watch the zombie dying. Some tricky stuff to be able to cast an enchant before the cutscene starts. Then the enchant finishes during the cutscene and that allows you to move in the cutscene.
You have come to return my Nope, I came from for your arm. Although I cannot actually cut his arm. Because that slightly censored on Japanese. Thank you for the good luck, big no no. Sex. No. All right, let's see if we can get the the horror skip. That will determine whether this run is always gonna be on red or not. Yep, let's go. Oh, that's a big character, really? That sucks. Where was I slow? Cause that shouldn't happen on this road. So I guess I'm I was low somewhere. I don't know where. Wait, why is my record so bad? Did I just fail it on my record? What? I'm missing something. I guess I just fell on my record. Oh no, wait. I think I got a sanity, like a, a worse sanity effect. I don't remember. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Dreams. Modern psychology of Alright, Kareem, let's go. Lots of things can go wrong on Kareem. Many, many things. There's some crutches. There's tons of time loss that you can get by mistakes. You can die at the end. Or you can also get a completely random lag at the end. Is that it? Yeah, frame perfect. Let's go. I don't remember this thread. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. And you practice this thread. Heads. We gotta go for the heads. Do 
Please don't kid me. Thanks. Alright, no crutches. That trapper, I hate it. Not cool. What? Okay. We have another instance of that. Amazing. And this time it was without a spell. So we, we can discard more things. Amazing. I guess we're, we're getting close. Close to true. So what happened there is I skipped the <laughs> the Edward cutscene that triggers always there. Uh, we don't know how that works. It has happened a couple times, like three or four times, and we don't know how to trigger it. We don't know how to reproduce it. I. My theory was it is a frame of recovery or a spell, but I actually didn't do any spell this time, so it's something else. Maybe it's the pause menu? I don't know. Or the dropper. It can be something about the dropper. No, no, no. Okay. One, two. Yeah, there's still a lot to learn on this game. Like, a lot of things we don't understand and some room for improvement as well as some tech that is just not on the speedrun or, or rather in a world record like Roberto skip it's an skip that saves five minutes and like 10 seconds RTA but it's pretty hard to pull off <laughs> So I haven't done runs with that yet. Uh, this run doesn't have that strat. Okay. Uh, I wasted one. We don't have explosion. We have lag or not? Let's see. No lag, let's go. Ouch. That damage is gonna suck. Oh. Okay, this okay, this is dangerous. Can I get out of here? Oh my god. Um, uh, what do I do? That's a weird improvisation. Attack, please.
Where do I go? Please don't die. Don't look at me. Ah, oh, fuck. I was so close. Oh, but I knew that. Like, the bounty was right there. <laughs> and I could look at me. Oh. Uh, how could I prevent that? <laughs> That's a good highlight, though. <laughs> Like, I, I almost saved it. <laughs> Jeez. And I was pretty behind already, but it still was fun. <laughs> yeah, so they are died because the bounty look at me. And enemies do... When, do, when you have zero sanity, they do health damage. And bounty do a lot of health, uh, sanity damage, so... That translates into health damage. All right, let's see. Oh, I, I don't really know if I can do another. I, th I think I can do one. But yeah, that's how it goes with Kareem. I got caught between the zombies. The barrier fire is super scripted, but if you if you mess something up, it can go really wrong. Leg target. Another one. Yeah, the thing is, I don't think I had any talismans left to, like, do a recovery. Maybe I could have hugged the wall a little bit to avoid damage. Because the bounty was really far away. For so the marathon, I'm, I'm saving before the barrier. In case something like that happens. I have multiple spots where I can save. And I'll be practicing with those later. Like, maybe on Friday. Or Sunday. Not sure. Or maybe just offline, depending on how much time I have. I got into GDQ Hotfix next Tuesday. It's a um, it's a segment called Time Capsule, and this next Tuesday they're doing games from 2002, like Eternal, for instance. And so far it's gonna be at 8 p.m. Eastern at GDQ's channel. So we're to see horror runs other than Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Yeah, actually. Those are usually the ones that get featured. Okay, 
got the turnaround. I was failing that a lot last time I I was running the game. These two pies were pretty I good. Say what was the true beginning. Nor but I'm still getting a 414. That means I'm losing all the time on, on Alex. On the clock. It's kind of crazy the amount of time you lose on the clock when you don't hit it in the, in the correct spot. Because otherwise, I would got like a 412 for Japanese, and US is like a Okay, let's do one invisible area for the fans. Let's at least try. But sometimes it just doesn't work. Let's see if I remember. <laughs> Invisible Elia, let's go. It doesn't last very much. Because now she's visible after that cutscene. <laughs> there is a little bit, you, you see a little bit of the floating sword. And I think only saves time on, on US. Because you have to watch a pre-render, which are faster in US. On Japanese, it's, it's tied with the normal strat. But the only bad thing about this is I can have a sanity effect on the next room. Like right here. So it's kind of a risky strat. Like here, there can be a sanity effect, but I guess we're, we're fine. Okay, I should have sneaked there. Uh, I'm gonna sneak here instead. That should be alright. Sneak in the cutscene, maybe. Right. And yeah, there's actually a a different variation of the invisible area, which is it doesn't make her invisible. And it's faster, but it's like pretty tight. I cannot get it myself. And that one's actually faster too. That one should save time on Japanese. Because you don't have to see a pre-render cutscene.
but I don't really remember the timing for the sanity effect here using invisible Elia. I think there's just no sanity effect here. I don't I don't know. I know the timing is different. So you see, that wasn't a bad Elia at all, but I still lose a tiny bit of time because of that trick, because probably didn't do it on my PV. Pick up. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavor. I want to usually get it with some setup walking there. The setup takes some time, but it's it's a very long pan towards the item, so it still saves time. I bet you can get it with a stopping place with target. We should get out of here. In a faster way. What we have feared the most. I still don't know what they feared the most. The monks here. One of the cool things about Japanese is that you don't need to scroll any text on when you grab the tome. Which is a text box that you see several times in the run. Like eight times, maybe? Eight, nine times? No, probably less than that, actually. But you can just slide from B to A to B. And you will grab the tone. Whereas on the other versions, you have to scroll down a little bit. Yeah, that's one of the things that help helps Japanese getting ahead. But it's really weird. You know, some texts are faster, some others are slower. <laughs> like for instance, there's a text on bias that has like a hundred and something frames instead of 60 frames or so. So you're losing some big chunks there uh, so at the end if you take all the text on account I think Japanese is actually slower a couple frames or like 0. Point something seconds I don't remember the number I because I, I need to review it with all the new strats and the text that we don't see anymore The thing is, so US and Japanese are pretty much the same in terms of text. Although Japanese has the advantage of some texts are easier RTA, because like the tone, for instance, because you can just press faster inputs, so it's more comfortable RTA for humans. 
So that's one advantage. And the other pretty big advantage is faster loading times. Come to return. And this fight is also faster on Japanese. Because it's censored. So I can kill the beach up on three shots instead of four. Because of how the HP of the bishop works. The difference is still pretty small. Like, we are talking seconds between versions. It's definitely something you shouldn't look for until you get, like, optimal on the run. And even if you get Optima, it's just not that much. For me, it's more of a preference thing. I like having fast prompts on some text. And also, Japanese copies are cheaper. On, like, Amazon and eBay. Right, this should save some time. Nice. I think this is the first run I hear about where one language isn't clearly faster than others. Yeah. That's uh, mainly because of how the text works. But at the end, it, it really is because, like, you only scroll the text down and it loads all at the same time. But it's, it's pretty weird because, you know, there's kind of less text in Japanese most of the time. Although some of the translations are longer, like really longer for some reason. But also there's like, uh, the formatting of both languages is, are very different. Like for instance, on US, every time you scroll one line down, it takes like 10 frames, I think, if I remember correctly. But in Japanese it takes like 13 frames. I guess because the letters are bigger. So, when you count this, you don't only have to count the number of lines, you also have to count, like, there's a different multiplier per line that you scroll down on the text. And it only matters on the text that you actually have to scroll down. And it's super funny, you know, on, on Korean, my English copy was like 35. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a good price for a copy. You know, th there's a Korean version of this game. And it's that, that one is the fastest one. Okay. And it's funny because it's actually not on Korean. <laughs> it's on <an> English. <laughs> but it has a different formatting on the English. So, more words, um, like, they, they put more words in less lines, because the format is pretty weird. And because of that, it's faster than both English and Japanese. But it has the loading times of Japanese, so it's the fastest version. But it's also the most expensive one, and the most rare to find online. It's very, very hard to get a copy, a Korean copy.
There's no self lock. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I definitely don't want to do that. Whatever. <laughs> Let's give me a network skip, please. Rats. There's so many rats on Kareem. So we watch cutscenes here to make all these zombies disappear. Because the game will unload them if they are on finishing state. And you watch a cutscene. They just disappear, and then you go to the next wave of zombies faster. Then here, no magic message allows me to move during this cutscene. And damage the zombies. Magic looks pretty good, I think. That's important for, for later. And there, I, I finished the bounty with Chagrams because it's faster. The animation is faster and they disappear faster too. No explosion. Again. Interesting. An Agwar turnaround. There's no lag. Okay, let's go. Okay, I don't think that's enough. Yeah, oh, okay, this, this might suck. Uh, okay. There's a tiny bit of lag. It's still dangerous. Mm. Uh, I think I'm dead.
I save it. <laughs> Curry. <laughs> so what I was doing there is every time you attack, or rather, you can cancel your current animation by changing your equipment. So what I was doing there was I was changing, like, unequipping and re-equipping my sword to don't get stuck on animations. So that, that allows me to do very fast attacks on in-game time. And also, you know, every time you get hit or something, you can cancel the knockback animation and just act immediately. And I also... I did a, a recovery with the talisman, I will not and then I did a free cast to do another recovery. So I did two recoveries at the same time because I needed a lot of HP to don't die. And free cast is, is very handy because uh, the spell cannot be cancelled if, if it is on free cast. I'm not feeling great about this horror. Dead skip. Yeah, whatever. Still trying to wrap my head around this. <laughs> Remember that room? <laughs> yeah, it, it looks pretty weird because I'm fighting behind the barrier with a glitch. Normally, you 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 fight um, you don't fight behind the barrier normally. <laughs> That's why it looks so weird. Three. I was unsure about one of my spells. That was pretty clean. Until that. Are you really on the way? Okay. I thought she was like exactly in the middle. <laughs> and I was stuck. Cancel right there. We get a rune and leave the room immediately. Just keep that animation of the zombie. Uh, 
uh, we are pretty much done with Max. I do remember to do a recovery at the end of the chapter. And that's, that'll be to prevent the sequel sanity effect on Alex. Because it only triggers when you finish chapters with low sanity. Or less than 50%. Okay, I hit it. Where is it? Looking at Max. Yeah, yeah, okay. And we're talking. That puts me over 50% sanity. And that only means I don't have to worry about the the sequel. Because you can still just cancel it without recovery. Okay. I have to do shield. Oh, I forgot my split. The ancient's influence was incredible. From all Along with Kareem, Lindsay is probably the hardest chapter. Let's see how it goes. I don't remember. I think in my run, I got a pretty weird Lindsay. Because I believe I got Bronze Keep. But then I have like a very bad Lindsay after that. So it end up looking like a, a Lindsay that failed Bronze Keep. Or just didn't went for it. I don't like the position here. Yeah. I was too close to the... I need to be more in the middle. Please load, thanks. So there's a very difficult clip there. If you get it, you save like 30 seconds. And if you don't, you lose like 40, I think. Or 30 something. Okay, sanity. I need to pay attention for sanity. Because I think both zombies look at me. And stamina too, of course, as always. Okay, sanity is so low.
Let's just be safe. Okay, how low is my sanity? Alright, good enough for this room at least. Went pretty far there. All right, that worked. Let's go. Always keep. I most likely don't have explosion, but I'm gonna play as I have it. I don't care. I don't want to risk it. Get a sanity effect here. Just fix it one. This cutscene, and it actually counts as a sanity effect. This isn't so. Really every time you see a sanity effect, uh, you get a like a free minute of no sanity effects later. And that's what's gonna happen here. My health is very low. I'm gonna need a, a recovery. Yeah, okay, so... Next room, instead of a snake, I'm gonna do a recovery. Or... Mm, yeah, it has to be here. There's a special version of the recovery that prevents explosion. Again, I probably don't have explosion, but I'm not entirely sure because I, I've been betrayed by explosion before. <laughs> Let's see. Well, oh, I, I already have a sanity effect. Just over 40 health, which is the limit to start flinching. And you can already see the time loss of not getting brown skip. Even while this was a 
like, despite that, it was a pretty good Lindsay. But yeah, 30 seconds, that's, that's about it. Pretty much what it costs to go for the backup. So there's an explosion there. We're gonna keep doing explosions. There's another one. Every time you see me on magic going down a little bit. There. I'm doing recoveries. To avoid sanity effects. And this is Edward's key. Because during this cutscene, there's no collision on this door, and you can just enter. And yeah, Max keeps being there. <laughs> it's actually a very funny animation that Max does on that part. We won't yeah. see it. On this During run, the time of the Inquisition. he kind of goes in and then goes back. <laughs> if you go for the Roberto Skip Road, you will see that animation. Because there's a very big setup that we have to do on, on that corridor. So Paul is a chapter that can kill the run too. Oh, brother Luther. But it's at the, at, at the end of Paul. Because there's kind of a danger, dangerous glitch that we need to do. Yeah, apart from that, Paul is a lot of running around. It's one of those chapters where you'll read a lot of donations. <laughs> there's a couple of interesting things, but there's still a lot of running between those things. for later.
Okay, gotta go upstairs first. And then for the setup, I need three damage fields. Don't grab the sheet of music. Hmm. One, two, three. Cancel a spell, cancel another one. That skips the intro of this fight. And makes the fight very different. And then I'm gonna make Anthony wake up faster with the damage field. Oh my god. I felt a lot of hits there. I think it's there. Right. Do the split. The new split. Where is the door? I need to be cautious for that door because if I go too far, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna hit the cutscene trigger and we're we're gonna see the intro of Anthony with Anthony dead. Okay. Uh here, 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 and that's it. Those are new assignments. Yo, Evelong, how you doing? Excited for Spooktober. I'm going to be casual playing this game nice. Along with other aim rated core thing games and GameCube gaze, nice. Actually I don't know that game. But yeah, lots of people are gonna be doing Spooktober. Okay, the horror. We'll see how the horror behaves. Alright, health. Arm. Arm. Okay, health is kinda low because of the horror. Not entirely sure. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna have a dangerous second part of Paul. Very dangerous. And I just have enough HP, that's good. Cool. Nice. Okay, it's a really fun FPS. The ghost theme. Okay, Paul should be around here. Should try it out one day. But you can possess enemies. Yeah, it sounds pretty fun. Might try it. Okay, actually didn't pay attention 
two bleeding walls, but I think I got them <laughs> because I don't see any sanity effect. I think I'm safe. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. And now the monk's dead. The custodian, rather. Alright, side effect around here. Anything? Do you have anything for me? Nope. Guess not. Sneak. Don't forget to sneak. Sneaking day. And here we go. But a very hard trigger. Let's go. That's the first bar. There's two more. shoot this thing? Nope. <laughs> Alright. I need some magic. A little bit more. Actually... At this point, might as well do this. Yeah, run over, but or, or rather, I can't PV. But maybe I can do something about it. Okay, I want this guy to explode. Let's start with for that. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> yeah, it's not really happening. So I'm, I'm stuck here. There's no way to deactivate this thing. The only thing I can do is try to do the thing again and hope I get it or, or something. There you go. Now we gotta do it one more time. This is not over. <laughs> I need to do it on my way back. And that means I need magic. Let's 
Let's see. Go, Paul. I need a little bit more magic. Okay, that should be enough. I think. You are a clever man. Ah, I'm. I'm low health. Like this might still work, but I'm not so sure. Uh. Let's try. Okay, no. Uh, I don't think that will work. Mm. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Definitely not. Mm. Thing is, this thing won't work without the bone teeth. Like, I don't want to kill the bounty, you know? But I'm also gonna die. If I don't kill it. So fuck it. I'm killing it. Alright, let's get rid of this at least. Alright. Add some better noises. Is that not enough? Jesus. Well, whatever. Maybe this slow walking even helps me. Yeah, on the marathon, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna save before this. So if I failed it, I just try it again. Oh, you know... Something I can do? There's something I can do here. Let's do it. Alright, you buddy. You're gonna help me. Ah. Uh. Okay, stay there. There you go. Oh, I can't cast. Forgot about that. No. Ah. ah. I forgot about that. Ah. Uh, let's get more magic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Please. Just in case. I guess I can I can try the new strat with a different spell, but whatever. Uh, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's go. First try. Oh, that was a mess. Plus seven minutes, amazing. I'm still good on estimate. That's the best part. I want to at least do Roberto. Or a little bit of Roberto. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. Barely got tired. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I really hate those zombies. Okay, I think I skip the vision of the last zombie. I'm gonna risk it. Since this is a bad run anyways. Yeah, that was definitely 50% sanity. So I should have bleeding walls. Whoa! Didn't die immediately. Crazy. Oh, I need... I think it didn't look at me. Yeah, we still have good sanity. It's crazy. All right, good. Good Roberto so far. Hovering over the bridge. Isn't funny how the bridge is invisible, you know? But that doesn't mean it's not there. You should be able to just walk on it. Why do you need to reveal it? I guess Roberto is too afraid of trying it. Okay, 
waste one shield. Cast one then. There's still a lot of magic. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking that's a lot of magic. Okay, I, I might need to do an adjustment. Oh yeah, it is a lot of magic because... Yeah, I know why. Because I, w I waste, wasted less magic on recoveries. Makes sense. Because of bleeding walls. Hopefully I'll still have enough here. I do a no magic message for sanity effects. Don't sing, thank you. For another one and there you go that's Roberto good and I'm walking on sand even while I'm not actually walking on sand but that's because of zombie hover because when you hover on some rooms it sounds like you're walking on sand and I'm gonna go through this guy through this one that's it very not clean Roberto but still fine I definitely need to do Peter because that's also different from the BB I need to get some small practice for Peter. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind. You know, like a month ago, I started watching Avatar, The Last Airbender, for the first time. Because I, I actually never watched that show. And it's so fucking good, what the fuck? I, I can't believe it. 
It's just so good. It's crazy. Nani, how you doing, Jelly? It is that good. It is better than that, Shadow. It's too good. Really, I love it. Probably my, my favorite cartoon so far. <laughs> Just came here and you say that. But hey, I'm watching it right now. So it was our first time. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm not on the door. That kind of sucks. Where's this thing? Okay. <gasps> oh, I was thinking that would happen because I. Took so much time there, fuck me. Which Avatar, James Cameron movie, or the animated <laughs> uh, Last Airbender, the animated movie? Oh my god, I hate my life, but I have a save file. But the save file does a trapper before saving. Fuck. Of course. Ugh. It's always trappers that ruin my life. Isn't it? But it's like a kid's show? Yeah, kinda. But it's a good kid's show. No. No, it's better than that. I would say it's a teenager show. More than a kid's show. Actually, I don't know if this is gonna work because of the extra trapper. It might just not work. I, I'm not sure. Oh my god, oh my god. Sir, do you know if this is gonna work with an extra trapper? If you're there. Uh, okay. I think that's it. But yeah, to be fair, it is definitely something you would watch after Rugrats, because it was a Nickelodeon. <laughs> it was a Nickelodeon show, so... Fair enough. Alright, I'm doing a... Um... I'm doing a Zelda pool. Just rode in, rode in the run. Uh, let's do it here. Don't damage me. For the last year I've been watching a lot of cartoons from last decade, nice. Yeah, a couple of years ago I started watching Steven Universe. I also watched that way after the hype.
Watching the Emon, nice. Which one? The first one? I should shoot there, I think. That's close. First one, nice. My favorite one is the Demon Tamer, Demon Tamers. The third one. Okay, I fail that. I need to wait for this fucker to sing. There you go. Let's see if this works. It might not work. Also, let's pay attention to my magic. Okay, magic looks relatively alright. Uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, there's kind of a remake. Demon Tree? Or no, 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 that's another thing. <laughs> that's not really a remake, right? That's just another... Another one. I didn't. I didn't know there was a remake. Actually, actual demo adventures remake. Oh, I. I didn't know. Interesting. Okay, let's hope I have more than hundred magic. Okay. That worked. Black Guardian Insta Kill. Let's go. First run with the glitch. I should be saving 20 seconds on that split. If that goes well. But, since I fucked that up, I'm losing a minute 40. <laughs> help me, please help me! Dragon Boar, Dragon Boar Kai. I can't get the blood out. Hopefully not like Dragon Boar Super. <laughs> I've heard mixed things about Dragon Ball Super. I haven't watched it myself. I watched like one episode with a friend because he was watching it on his house. It didn't look great. It's just that... I don't know, the power scale is so weird on Dragon Ball. It kind of got broken after Freezer. Okay, uh, what do I need here? I need this. Uh, here. And here, uh, yeah. Let's go. Wherever disaster and death. You're watching it too, Joker? Nice. Like Out of 10, how good it is. You know, to Avatar, I can give you an 11 out of 10. No problem. 69 out of 10. Easy. Where's the other trapper? There you go. No, no, no. No need to punch that ladder. That ladder is a good ladder. You don't have to punch it. He hasn't done anything wrong. Not like the other ladders. There are bad ladders and need to be punched.
Oh, the Evangelion is 1110? I don't know. Evangelion is great, but it's not a masterpiece for me. Or rather, it is a masterpiece, but it's not my kind of masterpiece. It is good though, I, I enjoy it a lot. But I think there's better series. But it, it's it's just about it's just about taste, really. Uh, just okay. Uh, uh what do we, what do we do here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that into this. There you go. Dangerous trappers. Dangerous. Yeah, for me, it, I just hate Shinji. That's the thing. <laughs> I hate Shinji and I cannot enjoy the show because of him. <laughs> it is really just that. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I just don't like the guy. And I don't think it's a bad character, honestly. I think it's a good character. And it's a good story, but I just don't like it. It's like Bypledge, for instance. You know the movie Bypledge? Or no, Weepledge? I always forget how to pronounce that. I think it's just Weepledge. So that movie is good. It has good characters. But I hate the teacher. You know, the, the guy that teaches drums. I hate him so much, and that makes it so I cannot enjoy the movie. Doesn't matter how good it is, I just cannot enjoy it because of the character. That happens a lot to me, that something can be really good, but a character makes it so I cannot enjoy it. Oh no, I die! Okay. That horror is making an attack. I don't know if it's gonna be cancelled here. No. Okay, good. We might. Okay. No shocks. That's good. Alright. Do I remember the strat here? Put shields. Just do that immediately. Uh, yeah, it's one extra pause, whatever. What do we put here? I put shields. These. And this where? Down. And then I mix this. And then I do a shield. And then I free cast. I walk a little bit for magic. And then I do a seven enchant. And I can walk as soon as the other spells finish. Good. And we're gonna do the pool later. It's not yet. So here maybe? There. We got the Japanese version in Latin America of what? Can't read a whole lot on this part. <laughs> I love how the the chat goes crazy when people start talking about shows. It's pretty cool.
Alright, how... How is this my goal? I'm losing time, but probably not that much. Oh, actually a lot. Why, why was it so much? That's crazy. That's just bad menu. Really. There's no huge mistakes. Just 20 seconds of menu. Not remembering what to do. Crazy. Alright, I think I can do my old strat here. Yeah. At least I remember a different opening song in English. One Spanish version is the same as Japanese. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, sanity effect? Yes. And you get this one. You can enter door three times or two times and you're gonna explode immediately so it doesn't take all that much that's better than just walking Basement teleport. Let's go. Tiny sneak. And I believe on this road there's enough magic. For a pool into this bill, I think. Yeah. Oh, I have a split for portals. Forgot about that. So I run here. Now, why am I losing time there? I don't know. Oh, the no, the sanity effect. Never mind. Yeah, it seems to be right. About nine seconds. All right. Um. This spell into shields. Next one, warm war. Number four, this one. And I do a pool. Uh, 
Uh, that's kind of close. Let's see. I guess it's fine. It's no sanity effect. Good. There we go, number five. Zelda here because we are an Oya of alignment. Shields. Where's the trapper? Explode. Guess not. The trapper is gonna be a problem later. A pool. There he is. Uh, then watch a cutscene. And we're gonna free cast the pool. So I can move. And the cutscene is to get rid of this barrier right here. And that saves a ton of time, like a minute. Now we go number nine. Hopefully, I'm not too late. <laughs> We're gonna cast a shield. Sanity looks pretty high. Let's see, let's see. Mm, okay. Yeah, everything's alright. So, I should warp here. And if I actually was very tight on the timing, I should warp immediately. Which is the most optimal. Let's see. Yeah, that was relatively fast. It wasn't an insta warp, but that's good. And that's the warp we store on the warm. that sends you back to the default position of any room. Normally it only works on the worm, but if you get out of the worm room with the sepia effect, you can trigger it on any other room. Uh, okay, I missed some spells here, whatever. Uh, let's do reveal here. And I'll do shield on the next one. Is that gonna finish? Just barely, okay. The correct strat is making shield and reveal on the spire so you can link them together. But I tend to forget that. How are you tired? Oh, because I didn't sneak. Sneak now. Got my sneaks. Big explode. Thanks. I'm attacking the the teleporters, not because I hate them, 
but because if you just enter a teleporter, Alex will do a, an animation of walking towards the center of the teleporter. But if you do an animation, you can do another animation to prevent that. And then the teleport will trigger immediately. Oh my god. That's so much damage. Uh, where? Where do I go? One. Okay, there we go. Good day, what up? I have watched your Dora Jane channel. How are you doing? Oh my god. Where's the trapper? Okay. Shield? Shield. Plus... Uh... This? Yeah? That? That. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Good. That's the last assignment of the run. And I do it with a, sh with a free shield. You can tell that I didn't practice Alex. And the last one, number seven. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a bot, actually. See if we get a crutch here. Uh, oops. Okay, whatever. Let's get some some shields. Why not? Yeah. Actually, don't want shields. Yeah. I get bots on all of my YouTube videos. <laughs> it's funny because sometimes there was a point with COVID and all that that bots actually got like ho wholesome bots. You know, because the last message I got was like, hey, amazing video, take care. Something like that. Or like, oh, I don't remember the exact message, but it was something like that. Okay, I need to deplete my shields. So we're gonna do that. Alright, there you go. That's to prevent a dispel on Pius, because otherwise Pius will cast a dispel if you enter with shields. And yeah, I actually got some bots on other streams. I guess this month or last, I don't remember. Par par par, par and tear. All right, let's save the run with with a good pious. Let's go. Maybe I can get a light red split instead of a red straight red dude I use it are you telling me I didn't use it <laughs> again <laughs> oh I guess I didn't use it like I, I just okay so I just did the fuck <laughs> oh my god <laughs> This went exactly like the marathon run, the other marathon. It's good because I still have 8 minutes to beat the game, <laughs> if this was a marathon. Because the estimate is, I give an estimate of 140. Ease. 
This is a crash, by the way. And it's a hard crash. I don't think I can this reset. Crash, by the way. Pandora, shut up. It's a hard crash. Shut up. Okay. Alright, let's see this together. I need to see the item. Same shit as last time. Jesus. Uh... <laughs> this fucking thumbnail is so disgusting. Maybe I, maybe I should change that. <laughs> At least I, I got a, a gold. All right. This is right before Michael. Oh my God, my frames are so bad today. Are you serious? That's crazy. Looks so shoppy. Nobody told me about this. Probably my computer. Because of the local recording, maybe. Looks awful. Alright, should be around here. Yeah, I didn't use it. Well, fuck. Alright. Why does the item crash the game? We don't actually know. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't actually know. My theory is that... It's something, something, something's going on with the in inventory because every time you enter Pius, the game cleans the inventory a little bit. It gets rid of every item that is not useful, quote unquote, to all the letters that you get in Alex chapter. So there, there's some cleans in the inventory that the game does. So then if you reach Pius with an unintended item, that cleaning process it's not done properly and it causes a crash and i i believe any unintended item you know any item that you're not supposed to, to have i think it it does that okay i need to i need to adapt some stuff so this was kind of a test stream too because i was testing a setting that consumes a lot of CPU. I don't know if it was that or something else, plus the local recording. Actually, or or maybe it's just the frames that are bad. Although frames don't look that bad on OBS. We'll see. I'm I might get optic favor, fiber. One of these days, maybe. Uh, so that might boost the stream a lot. I can, I, I might be able to test that on Friday. Uh, I'm, I'm really impressed that it, it looked pretty bad. <laughs> Why, and nobody told me that the stream looked that bad. <laughs> the item just does not have a sprite. I, I don't know. I, I think it's something else, something more crucial than that because of how items work on this game, which is very weird. Uh, I, I don't believe it's just a sprite thing. I think it's something else, but it's definitely something about the, the clean, the cleaning that the game does on the inventory. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, bye bye.